Viral Nader presents Nicole Wallace's famous husband not many people know about. Jen Psaki and Gregory Mecker, 11 years together. It's been 2021 since Jen Psaki became White House press secretary. Her job started in 2009 when Barack Obama was president. She's been the White House's deputy communications director and communications director in the past. She's had the backing of her husband, Gregory Mecker, all through her time in politics. The first time they met was at a party event in 2006. They got married in 2010. Saki talked about how great her husband is, who works as a political aide, saying that he's at ease in any setting. As she talked to the Cincinnati Enquirer, she also said that she could carry on talks anywhere with anyone from billionaires to their two kids. Corinne Jean-Pierre and Suzanne Malvo while President Joe Biden's in office, Corinne Jean-Pierre is the White House press secretary and a political assistant in the United States. Being the first black press secretary and an LGBTQ plus person makes her stand out. Since a long time ago, Jean-Pierre has been seeing CNN reporter Suzanne Malvo. These two people live in the nation's capital with their adopted daughter. They don't like the attention on their relationship. Despite this, the two are always seen showing love when they're out together. Christy Nome and Brian Nome, 30 years. The wedding of Christy and Brian Nome took place in Watertown, South Dakota, in 1992. Their love for each other has gotten stronger over the years, and they now have three wonderful children. Even though Nome took office in 2011, their love for each other is still clear. They worked hard, and their ranch in Castlewood, South Dakota shows it. Together, they find time to go to a four-square church in Watertown. This shows that they share a religion and is the basis of their relationship. Lauren Boebert and Jason Boebert, 17 years People like the Boeberts have shown that love can be strong, even when things go wrong. Because Jason worked full-time, they didn't have a lot of money when they got married. However, things have become better for them since they opened their business. Lauren is now a lawmaker and a happy mom of four boys. The two in this relationship seem meant to be together, and they'll never be apart. We can't wait to find out more about how they went against all chances and still did so well. Carrie Ann Lake and Jeff Halpern, 25 years In politics, Carrie Ann Lake has become a well-known and recognized person. For the last time, after 22 years, she stopped being a TV news reporter in March 2021. Carrie and her partner Jeff Halpern have been together since August 1998, which is an impressive feat given Carrie's busy job. The couple stayed out of the public eye for the most part, but we'd like to see them talk about the relationship more online. Marty Walsh and Lori Higgins, 8 years Marty Walsh is a well-known figure in Boston, but his bond with Lori Higgins is still a mystery. They've only been together at a few events, like party gatherings and parties. The fact that Higgins helped Walsh raise money for his cause shows that the two are linked in many ways. The two are very connected. Liz Cheney and Philip Perry, 27 years Philip and Liz Cheney have been married since 1993 and are now a powerful pair. They both have successful jobs and a strong bond that can't be broken. People who are looking for love can learn from them because they show that it's possible to stay committed to each other in a relationship that's focused on a family. We can all learn from their connection that we can find our own Philip and make our dreams come true. Joe Manchin and Gail Connolly Manchin, 54 years. They've been married for more than 50 years and are still very much in love with each other. Gail has been a rock of strength and support for Joe through all his problems. Politicians admire them for this. It's a great example to follow and they have three kids. Tulsi Gabbard and Abraham Williams, four years. Abraham Williams has been a big fan of Tulsi Gabbard for a long time, even before they were dating. His skills as a photographer were used to make the videos that helped Tulsi win the 2012 election for the House of Representatives. After the war was over, they ran into each other again and became very close. Their relationship looks like it'll last for a long time since they've been together for almost 10 years. Nicole Wallace and Michael S. Schmidt, three years together. Nicole Wallace, who used to be the communications director for the White House under George W. Bush, is telling us that it's never too late to find love. 
In 2019, it was made public that she was dating writer Michael S. Schmidt. They got married in April 2022 after dating for three years. Wallace had been married for more than 10 years before they split. She found love again, which we didn't think she would, and it looks like this is the one that'll last forever. It might take two reporters to make it work, and we can't wait to see how they do. Bernie Sanders and Jane Sanders, 34 years. Bernie Sanders has been a politician for a long time, but his wife, Jane Sanders, has always been by his side for everything. Jane was interested in his talks when he ran for mayor of Burlington in the 1980s. A few years later, they started dating. They got married in 1988 and have been together ever since, with Jane always by his side. Without a question, her steadfast support has been a big part of his success, and we can only think how much better their relationship is because of it. Maxine Waters and Sidney Williams, 45 years. Since 1976, Congresswoman Maxine Waters has been in the public eye, so it's not a surprise that people think so highly of her. She got a split from her first husband, but she finally found love again with former NFL player Sidney Williams. In the 1970s, they met for the first time while both working for David Cunningham, who was a Los Angeles City Councilman at the time. After that, they started dating, and in 1977, they decided to make their relationship official. Maxine and Sidney have been married for over 40 years and are still together. It'd be good to know what they did to make their marriage last. John Kerry and Teresa Hines Kerry, 25 years. John Kerry is a well-known public person who has held many public service roles. Kerry is a dedicated lover, despite how he acts at work. He married Teresa Hines Kerry in 1995 after John Hines introduced them in 1990. Unfortunately, John Hines died in an accident the next year, which made Teresa very sad. After Kerry helped her feel better, they've been together happily ever after. They're both used to being in the news, so they've kept their relationship out of the public eye, which has probably helped them last. Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton, 50 years together. Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton got married in 1975. Bill was the 42nd president of the United States. They met four years before at the library in Yale University. They're still one of the most famous political couples after more than 50 years. Even though he publicly admitted that he cheated on her in 1998, they kept going. In 2019, their daughter Chelsea became a grandmother for the third time when she had her son Jasper. At the beginning of 2021, during the introduction of Joe Biden, even after he openly admitted to having bad relationships with women outside of his marriage, they were still in the news, along with Barack and Michelle Obama and other past heads of state and their partners. Michelle Pfeiffer and David E. Kelly 25 years together. Both Michelle and David are very skilled. Michelle is an award-winning actress, and David is famous for writing the highly praised show Big Little Lies. Interestingly, they met on a blind date in 1993. They must have had a great time because they got married later that same year. It wasn't long after that they had their daughter that they had another child. Michelle and David both have well-known jobs, which is why they're very private. But when they do show up together, it's impossible not to notice how well they get along. Matthew McConaughey and Camilla Alves, 14 years together. This is Hollywood's most beautiful couple. They've been together since 2006, but Camilla didn't fall in love at first sight. They met for the first time at a bar in Los Angeles. McConaughey couldn't wait to talk to her, but she didn't even know him. But like in a rom-com, Matthew was able to win her over, and they quickly began dating. After three kids and a quiet wedding, the couple is still couple goals. Respecting each other and never taking anything for granted are big parts of their friendship. People say that getting married is just the start of a new adventure, and we couldn't agree more. If you've watched the video till here, that means you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe! Don't forget to turn on the notifications bell icon 